Okay, so we're back to part two. This is our, our look depot revamp. If you remember in the first video, this was all white on here. Um, and I've literally stripped out the old ballast that used to come in here because I, I did originally have all ballast in there. And I ripped all that out of something I did and I didn't like it. So this is where we are so far. Um, the reason why I've steamed ahead and not waited to show you everything, I'm very conscious that you'll be bored watching fast forward framing. So it's good to see the build progress, sort of keep you, you know, keep you engaged. Um, because I've watched many videos and you watch so much fast forward and you, you nod off. So to bring it up to speed a little bit quicker and then explain what I've done. Uh, so that's what I've, why, why I've done it this way. So you can see I have moved the water tower that was originally this side to that side. And we've given it a remake over or a, a, you know, repaint and weathered it up. So that's uh, certainly looking better and I think it fits better on that side. Um, so that's that one. Uh, this obviously was white and I've sanded it down, covered it in PVA glue all the way through and let that dry and then painted it in these Woodland Scenic um, colours. I've got burnt umber, white. So I've done a grey coat all originally, like a dark grey. That's white, greys and browns. Um, and I mixed a little bit of a yellow walker in it. Um, just keep adjusting the colour to suit. So it's quite easy to mix. But if you experiment, um, it's quite easy to do. You can buy rail match, do actually sell um, like a concrete colour. Again, I just mix my own. I refuse to buy um, stuff when I've got paints that I can make. Everything mixes, they're good at mixing in. So that was that. I then, obviously, because I had dark colours underneath, I've left it so it's a little bit liney. So you can sort of see like a, a, a concrete effect as if it's made. So looking down that way, um, it, it looks like it's been rippled. So that is that bit, and that falls right through to the back. Um, I'm going to zoom into this bit here and explain what I've done there. Okay, you can see I've got some brass rod that I've added inside the... Uh, my depot area which will be this will be the floor this will probably be matte varnished on here might take that color down a little bit it's glossy at the moment but um, I might go with the gloss uh, I've done some oil stains uh, so I might go a little bit of different color I'm not sure on that yet um, might be a bit too dark for my liking but I've used this to mask off the frame this will be the shed size and I've got a couple of matchsticks so the shed will fit nicely in here and in here and this has actually got plus and minus, which is actually putting the lights. So when I lift the shed up and down, I can take it on and off. As you see, the shed's not on at the moment. When I put the shed back on it, um, the shed will fit, obviously, inside like that. And then the, all the electrics and the wiring is all in, contained inside the shed. So I can just lift the shed completely off without damaging or moving anything. So if something falls over, you can get to it. I've adopted this on a lot of things I've done. You'll see this framework that I've done on my station. If you look back at my station videos, uh, I explain how I did this. And it's just the wires, they just, these copper rods, they just poke in that end and then the power comes this side, power comes this side. And I've got my little LEDs, SND lights that I've got off a strip there in the middle there. So that's how I do them. And it makes life so much easier and as you can see, you get a great, you know, nice little down light in your engine shed. So that's that. Um, I will now show you the progression onto the shed, uh, where how far we've got. So 
as you can see the shed has uh, evolved a little bit further uh, again I fast forward on this and carried on building because I didn't want it to be a time lapse boring build I wanted you guys to see progression a little bit faster because I don't want this project to uh, take forever um, I just want to get you guys to see how easy it is to make these things now last time you saw it there was four walls and this bit here um, I then created a skin so I, as I cut out the wall this side I cut two of these out and I cut two exactly the same this side and by doing that I'll take that out of the way by doing that it gives me an inner wall so I've got an inner wall there and an outer wall which sandwiches the glass in between so you can see the plastic that I've put in the middle and that I've utilised off another kit they were off Metcalf buildings that I didn't like um, I've sandwiched them in between and this being, con uh, being balsa wood the two layers gives you a little bit more stability otherwise when you glue it or paint it balsa wood tends to buckle and bolt, bend like that so um, it gives it a bit more stability and it does help I didn't do it at the front there um, I didn't want it too thick there but I've done it on the sides of the windows yes it has progressed loads I've put the framework in there so I've added these little struts and I've got a little rod going down the middle now you can see in here I've got a couple of little brass rods this is to another light that's in there so when I actually drop this on top of the brass electrics that's on the track this will actually light up which I'll show you in a second one of the features I wanted to add was the doors to open on this so I've actually made the doors this is the back the doors to actually open and close so they will close and open like that and uh, so that, that is really what that is um, I've done the same on this side so if I actually feed this one in and to do that I've made a little slat in the middle the same width as the door this again is just printed out on PowerPoint I don't make these myself nothing special I'll just slide that into there that will slide in and because there's this little stick in the middle and that little paddle bit there to push it up that will now slide over without catching so now I can have the door open and closed so I can have it uh, closed in some shots or I can have it open if I want to model that and then that will all fit the roof will go on top of there haven't done the roof as yet and the roof will go on there <clears throat> and uh, that will hide the ends of the door so let's show you what that looks like onto the layout and then uh, you'll see how the light works and how it fits onto the mouldings okay so you've seen the build uh, again this is the the depot that we've fast forwarded on now you see the framework that I've explained with the lights on inside there's a little light in there as I drop this on that light will go on because there's two wire prongs that pick up the feed from these two here so this purely is the shape of the shed um, I mean it's not hard to do it's just working out getting it level and you're just soldering it in shape you can see I just dropped that on and the little matchsticks there and there hide this corner just make that fit nicely so when I run the little train in the middle I know it's going to fit without catching the doors and you can see our little light is on there off on so if I lift it off it goes off so I can get to it I put it all on and everything's wired up I've got no loose wires I can look from the inside and it looks nice and tidy this brass rod in you'll see inside I'm going to paint yellow um, so you won't see it anyway it will look like lifting gear or frameworks I'll, I'll add that kind of thing to it so I can disguise it in yellow um, and you you won't even know it's there so or I can paint it black and it'll just look like piping so that's uh that's my plan with that but that is the shed and it sits on there and then we can drop the door down like that and make it look like it's not being used or i can look through the window and see inside which is why i'm adding other details and other things i've got um so i shall carry on building um and i'll show you some other bits and pieces and then 
we'll then start dressing it up and put the roof on and see how it goes. Don't forget to check out part three where we will finish off our loco shed and we'll put the roof on hopefully. And uh, I have also got a, a video that I'll add some bits where we're going to add some small details to, um, to dress or your diesel depot to make it look um, as authentic as possible. Uh, so that will follow as well. So that'll be either part three or part four. Um, if you like um, diesel depots, uh, don't forget our friends at Tinsley. And his channel is EMOH and it's 8765. Okay, I had to write that down because I would never remembered it. Uh, so don't forget to check out our friends at Tinsley. Uh, got lots of diesel depots and lots of projects, a big wagon project going on. Um, don't forget to check out part three of this though and part four um, and you'll see the finish off of our, our revamp. Till next time, happy modelling, catch you soon. Thanks a lot guys.